CrossFit, a sport made by this guy, Greg, who pioneered performing functional movements with high intensity. And today, you guessed it, this chimp is trying it. Sexy, today we're in a CrossFit gym. I'm terrified already. With, with my mate from school, and he's going to show me how to do CrossFit, how to do clean and jerks, how to do everything that I'm basically terrible at and dysfunctional at. Well, let's go. This may result in me shitting myself halfway through the workout because I've had a coffee and my pre and zero food. Right, so we are at a place called The Font and it's sick. So you've got a CrossFit gym right here and then up behind it's full bouldering. So if you're into your climbing, which I'm terrible at, um, you can come do that. And then they've got full coffee shop. Here's Phil. He's going to be guiding us through and then an absolutely massive bar as well. So if you want to train and then get pissed afterwards, you're very welcome to do so. Right, we're going to start with some cleans, which I haven't done since I was about 16. In here, knuckles down, push up, into front rack. Easy. Just three of those. Down, nice and high, into front rack. So no movement in the legs at all. So come a little bit wider. There you go. Same thing. Yeah, better. That's better. Easy. All right, I can do this. I feel like I'm just yanking it up. Let's do one more. Yeah, nice, good, cool, all right. So now we're gonna put um, the fives on in a minute, and now we're going from the hang, okay? So you're already in that position where you want to be. Yeah. So you've got full clean from the ground, hang yeah. clean from different positions, hang here, hang here, or you can do a high hang. We're gonna do it at the knee, don't overthink yeah. it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up the bar in the deadlift all the way tall, then you're gonna go into in hang position, then pop up, Ooh. catch there, okay? And then back down. From here. What's going to happen is we're not going to talk about squat clean or about power clean. The heavier you go, you're going to have to get lower to yeah. catch the bar because it's going to get heavier. So you heavier. get basically into like yeah, a yeah. fucking deep squat. Fucking shoes. So bad for this. Yeah. F favorite movement. Olympic movement. Cleans, most powerful, but then, which is what we're doing now, yeah. hand cleans. But then my coach was like two years ago, oh, start learning the snatch, you'll love it. Snatch is awful, horrible. It's the most satisfying lift yeah, when you yeah. sink one overhead and you catch it. Snatch is best. Okay. Snatch is always best. So grim, but good. Jerking right, left and right center. Yeah, I feel like I wasn't really like. This is a wooden stick, mate. All we're gonna see is if you can get this wooden stick over your head, okay? And then if you can sink down with the wooden stick over your head like that, Beautiful. and then back up. If you can't do it with the stick, we can't really do it with the bar. Are you quite a narrow squatter, Stance? Um, when I, yeah, when I do Olympic lifting, yeah. I'm trying to go as heavy as possible, I take it a bit wider. Hey, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sick, right. So now find exactly the same grip on the bar. So get rid of, yeah, bend the stick. You're right in the crease of your hip. Right above your pubic bone. Even I, yeah. Fucking hell. So if you were to bend over now and hinge over, it should sink quite nicely yeah. into the into your top hip. of the quad. Huh? Like that. Even, even higher a little bit, so because you're a tall lad, yeah. So now as you hinge over, you sink down. There, see that's in the hinge? So you need to be end to end, basically, end to end on the bar. Excellent. So same thing. You're gonna go up to the top, overhead. Ooh. 
Oh, hello. There you go. So bar's a bit far behind you, that's why. So bring your arms a little bit further forward. There you go. Way better. Let's do two more. You're gonna do exactly the same as the muscle clean. So knuckles down all the way, yeah. push through the legs, take on the babies, and then forward and down, okay? So from here, push through the legs, rotate the hands, and up. You want to think of this movement as a push, a pull, sorry, and then a push out. You're like lifting your arms as high as possible, knuckles yeah, down yeah. still, and then as you rotate, you push into the bar. End to end, baby. Not bad, do one more. All the way down to the ground. Nice. You're whipping it in front of you though. Go up, not forward. So you're pulling so like the bar forward. Yeah, there you go. That's better. A bit better. Yeah, nice. Good. Back down. Your back should stay the same angle as you're pushing up and down. Your back only changes angle when you're at full extension. Then you whip in. Okay? Got it. That's the best one yet, yeah. That was good. Nice. That's pretty good. Oh, fuck. That was really good yeah. until you just sat back too yeah. much. Down to the ground. Uh, I had to control my balance a lot. I was like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, ooh. All gyms should have these. Do you want more? Yeah, that's interesting. Nice, control right now. Good. It feels like. I don't know where it is coming down behind. I feel like I'm gonna... After some Olympic lifts, we decided to move on some pull-ups and muscle-ups. Now, pull-ups and CrossFit get a lot of flack, but why is that? Well, a normal pull-up is done with strict form and no momentum, and in a CrossFit pull-up, you kip to get yourself above the bar using as much momentum as you can. Jump as high as you physically can using your legs while pulling with your arms, and then you're gonna try and get into top position. So you've gotta rotate your elbows, yeah, inwards. So it's pull, drive. Do you externally go out to go don't down? Ha I don't, I'm trying to teach you not think to do about that, it. yeah. So I'm trying to think about that. It's whatever comes more natural. Whee. Now what? Just stay out there. There's only used to stay out there. You can bash out a few dips if you want. Nice. Hey, strong. <laughs> now come back down. Hey! That's pretty good. Right. That box, is, that box is pretty good high, okay? So what we're going to do now is just work on, I teach everything top down. So we're going right. to be in the top position, then you're going to swing back down. So like you just said, set, get to top position, yeah. and then we're going to slow, I'm going to whip away the box, and you're going to slowly come down into the bottom position. Pull out. I'll, I'll pull it out for you. So uh, when you're up here, we're going to stay up there, yeah. then we're going to go right forward so our chest is in a deficit, so like deficit press-ups yeah, yeah, into yeah. there, and then rotate around. Try and control it nice and slowly into bottom position, Got okay? It. The turnover is the hardest bit, the crux. So just reverse. Yeah. Yeah, nice. 
nice. <clears throat> okay, so deficit. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. Yeah, all right, cool. All right. So then a muscle up is exactly the reverse. Exactly the reverse. Exactly the reverse. It's so. easier when you're going with gravity than against When it. you haven't got 100 kilos pulling against you. Yeah. Um, it's exactly the same thing. So you're holding on in this position, yeah. and then it's exactly the opposite. So twist, rotate, push. Twist, rotate down, twist, rotate, push. All right? Simple. I don't expect you to get that, by the way. Neither do Straight. I. Straight. Yeah, now twist your wrist. So you're up there now to yeah. your nips, pull to your nips again, and then try and whip your wrist over. Okay. People say it's easier on here than the bar. Yes, it is. I don't know how. No break. So I'm going to show you the three and what we're going to do. And like you just said, hollow into thingy. The reason why it's easier on the bar, the rings, by the way, than the bar is the bar you're fixed in this position. Yeah. So like here and here. When you're on the rings, you've got 360 degrees of uh, movement, so you yeah. can move your wrist a lot more and your body a lot more to go up and down. So I'm going to show you three. I'm going to show you a strict. I'm going to show you a gymnastic one, like a kipping one. Yeah. Then I'm going to show you a crossfit one. All right. Okay. And then we're doing exactly what you said, hollow and banana. So it's the yeah. same thing. They're called beat swings, by the way, when you hollow into a banana and fall. Meat swings. Beat. <laughs> Meat swings. Swings. Beat, beat swings. Beat swings. So you're it's getting the beat and the rhythm right. of swinging back and forth. So strict one is what I've already shown you. So in here, pull up, twist nice. over all the way through, and then gymnastic one here. My legs pop up and through, and then the CrossFit one is where we're doing those beat swings. So I'll show you. So it's when we're going into hollow banana, hollow banana, but then you're kicking up all the way with your knees. Yeah. Then a little tricep lock. Okay. All right. <laughs> the fucking thing moves so much. So I feel like when I want to go up, I'm like all the way back here. That's because you're jumping forward when you jump into it. Go yeah. from stationary. You don't need to jump, your arms are long enough. Hold on to it from there. Now go completely dead still, lift your feet off the ground. Yep. Now go into the swings, hollow and full. Big kick. There you go, look at how you're getting. Now you just got to turn over. That's exactly it. Just got to turn over. <sighs> Come on. Fuck's sake, knackered now. Yeah, yeah, no, we've been, we've been going, we've been going 100% for a while. I can't get it. So when you did that, this is. Come on, you slag. I just need to go through it. Mm. Wee. Wee. Yes. All right, now go straight back down into it. So now from there, into hollow, swing down into hollow, and then straight back up, kick your legs back up. Be cool. Ah, close. <laughs> oh, we got one, we got one. That's good. Well done, mate, well done. We will have that. We're a climbing gym after all. So we'll do some hangboard work, okay? Um, it's called the fingerboard, hangboard, okay? All right. Um, yeah, get your fingers involved. Um, and then we've got these, okay? And so that's these these give full up. So first, just hang on. Yeah, but there's nothing on that one. That's so the, nothing. These are different millimeters. I'm lying if I told you what the different mils were. I'm pretty sure this is 40 or 50. Big, small, smaller. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna start on this one. Nice. Okay, you used to hang it first. Little pull up first. And then we can go like this. Little pulls. Try not to swing, back down. Genuine question, do climbers benefit from having smaller and stronger fingers? No, it's not it's stronger, yes, but it's got nothing to do with smaller. Nothing, even Lots of climbers have fat, chunky sausages um, for fingers, dense. and it's all the ligaments in your it's all the ligaments in your fingers that are strong. So all this pinch uh, and crimping stuff. Oh, but look at this, people hang on this man. That's disgusting. <laughs> what even is that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Right. 
Let's try this one. We might start. Start on the taller one, yeah. Ooh, that's really hard. Do you... I got all my fingers on top, yeah. Your thumb's not really involved. Your thumb is meant to be involved, but I don't really. Oh my Christ. You're not doing pull up on that. I can't, I mean. There you go. Yeah. There's nothing there. I mean, no. I'd have to go like that. <laughs> That's tough, man. But yeah, and you get people who go all the way to the top. Make kids as well. Five, six year old kids who are just like on this. Yeah, they've got smaller fingers, but they just scramble up. That's very fucking good. Nasty, nasty. Um. Oh. <laughs> this is nothing to that grip on. That is the on. first thing to get strong, but the first thing you lose when you start climbing. Um, jab your fingers in here, though. Get one over there. So this is a jug on top of this one. You can go on the taller one. It's a jug. A, a jug means a um, big old hole you can shove your fingers on top. So get right on the top, hit like this one button oh, yeah. there, and then you can literally do like pull-ups. They look like nice. On there. Yeah, they're very nice. You should be able to do that. Get on the higher one. Uh. Yeah, that's just like a bar, yeah? Yeah. Easy, and then you just start working your way in. So these are 40 mil holds, so now you've got your thumb out of the equation. Same thing. Okay. Yeah, nice, it's pretty good. And then you just keep tracking and tracking and tracking and you've got different depths and they slide off and stuff. Then you've got two fingers, two finger pull-ups. Oh. Nice. All right, let's try the DOS. Mm. It does not feel good already. Please don't dislocate your finger. No, no, I'm not going to try it. <laughs> and then I don't, I've never done this, but I think these are for one. That's grim. Oh. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> that is Oof. Yeah, that I didn't like that one either. But also, like, what is that? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't touch this. So on top's I mean, fine. These. On top's fine, but yeah. this. I think I fell on this actually. We were just hanging on. That's obviously it. you can get a lot of finger on. This one a lot less so. I mean there's nothing. It's just your fingertips. And then this middle one. I mean what even is that? No, I can't do the middle one. And then these as well. It's like just your fingers. Oh wait, which one have I hung on before? your nails that dig into yeah. your um, your nails dig back into your fingers it's like yeah chalkboard vibes yeah yeah that's that's not gonna happen for me all right session complete <laughs> session is complete just want to say thank you to phil he has absolutely put me through the ringer today including the rings and uh where can we all find you on social we pan into that class training i'm a pt based here southwest london Hit me up, you want to get strong, or do any of that shit we just did. Yeah, class training, the surname's class, get it? First class. Mm -hmm.